I've made this film to tell you about our new company charity which is being launched during October. It's called the Alex Timson Trust and its objective is to help vulnerable children. Alex and I were foster carers. We started in about 1978, 79 and for the next 31 years looked after 90 foster children. At first we thought frankly it would be pretty straightforward just like looking after our own children. But we had plenty of challenges. For instance, we had four-month-old triplets who thankfully only stayed for about six weeks. But also we found we had some children who came with physical signs of physical abuse and were mentally abused. And they might have been straightforward for a bit, but after a few weeks they became quite difficult and showed some quite testing behaviour. We never quite understood why. One of the most difficult was our eldest adopted child, Ollie, who came to us when he was six. And he'd had a pretty difficult time up to then. And he certainly gave us a lot of testing times. He was very challenging, he ran away, he defied us. And after a time we wondered what we were doing wrong. We thought we were pretty good parents, but we didn't think we'd done a great job for Ollie. Until we had a light bulb moment, or Alex did, when she went to a course run by the local social services. And there was a guy there talking called Dan Hughes, a psychologist, who was an expert on looked after children. And he told Alex and the rest of them about attachment. It's about what happens to children who don't get a great start in life, who don't get the bonding and love from their parents that most get. And they grow up not trusting what's happening to them, not being confident in themselves, not having the feeling of being safe. And that's why they're testing all the time, wondering whether they are in a safe place. And this attachment problem is exactly what Oliver had. And understanding that made us feel a lot better. He didn't do a lot more to help Oliver at the time, although once he understood it did. And it made a big difference to us. Which is why, a few years ago when I heard about Safebase, our last company charity, I was keen to help. When we first got involved with Safebase, it was in its infancy. In fact, they were wondering whether they'd be able to carry on giving the support programme that they provided to adoptive parents. But with the money that you've raised over the last few years, over two million, Safebase not only got going, but is now a nationwide service, giving adoptive families the confidence they need, the understanding of attachment problems, and helping them put their family together. It's now a nationwide service and they're self-sufficient. And along the way to help, that's why I wrote the first book about attachment, so that more people could understand what attachment was all about. So now we've got a new charity, the Alex Timpson Trust, which over the years is going to help all sorts of things to do all with children, to make children shine. And to start with, we're going to concentrate on schools. About two years ago, I got a few experts together and just ask them a question. Where best now can we spread the word about attachment to help more and more families? And the answer came, became very clear that the place to actually now go was to communicate to schools, to get more schools and people working in schools aware of attachment and why looked after children often display challenging behaviour, why they are as they are. So, a lot of the money we're going to raise through the Alex Timpson Trust, which is going to come through the way we've done it for many years, by you persuading customers to put a pound in the box, is going towards helping schools to become attachment aware. We're going to do that in a number of ways. Some of the money is going to go towards funding some research which is taking place at Oxford University at a place called the Rees Centre. And the research is purely into how attachment can be understood and looked after children helped through schools. That's a five-year programme and we're funding it right through those five years. Also, the books I've written, and now there are three books, 
about attachment are available through all our shops absolutely for free. I have an unlimited supply and the money that will go into the, the box will help to make sure that that will indeed be an unending supply. The three books, the original one, The Guide to Attachment, which tells everyone about attachment and why some looked after children or as they are. The second one is for young people who have attachment problems themselves. It's called How to Create a Positive Future. And the third book, Looking After Looked After Children, is for schools to explain the implications for schools about attachment, how it's going to make them a better school, and the importance of everyone who's working in a, school, in, a, in a school to under, understand attachment and how they can help people in schools who are looked after children with those difficulties. Also, we'll use some of the money to help those organisations that supply support to schools to make them understand better how they can make themselves attachment aware. So there's several ways in which we are going to help schools make that step to become attachment aware schools and make that big difference. And we're going to do something special, a typical Timson generous thing to do. We've bought two new holiday homes, which are going to supply free holidays, that's to two families every week from March next year, to foster carers. So foster families and foster carers can go and enjoy the sort of free holidays that our colleagues already enjoy. So that's the Alex Timpson Trust, helping children to shine, continuing to the work that Alex did and spreading it to a wider world and particularly starting to help get more and more schools attachment aware by giving away free books, funding research, supporting organisations which are helping schools, and this special extra of free holidays for foster carers. My aim through all this is that every school in the country should become aware of attachment and be able to look after looked after children. And with your help, I believe it can be done. Thank you.